Guess it wasn't 14,000. Point proven! Spyro is immune to the nasty orc. Crystal vocation. That scientific PhD level stuff. First, I, I have to risk my life to get these gems in the middle of the room. I'll be towards you in a second. Uh, never mind, I'm coming after you now, you fool! Nya 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 this! What a twisty turny cave you have! It's topsy turvy! Gotta get all the gems. How to distract a dragon? Gems. And the holograms. You must not forsake the holograms, the holograms are an important part! That was by accident. Because it shows how awesome I am. Surprise, you fool! Okay, wrong keyhole. Happens when you have multiple. Open sesame. Another one! Another one. Things are getting treacherous! Luckily, I killed him before we had to charge after him super duper through this terrifying level because of a split second idea. Run away, nasty Nork! The purple dragon Spyro is coming for your butt! Well, I guess I'll just collect all the gems first. It just seems easier that way. Then we'll come and kill ya. Or oh, whatever it is we do to ya. Stupid green orc man. Because I forget exactly what it is you have to do. It's been forever. I think we have to like supercharge ish after him. Like, I, I I say supercharge, but I don't mean supercharge. I mean charge superly after him because he never stops. He's he's not a nork. Out. He's not a nork. Did his shadow really go above his head? When did he set all this up? Why did he set all this up? He is very fit. Get back here, you greenie. Is that racist? <laughs> he, can, he can still smack you. That's so unfair. He can just turn around and bop your head. I say that's unfair, but in a kind of an amusing way. In the amusing, <laughs> why can he do that kind of way? That's one down. Part two, uh, I think we have to run this entire thing again if... Oh, crap! <laughs> Correction, we do not have to run this all again if we fail. <sighs> I hope. I beg to dear lord. That's it? That's it? That's it? That's it? I'm confused. I'm that's it? What? Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Gnork? Nasty Nork? 
His toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. We ain't over yet. We got things to do. <laughs> I, I love the music for this ending. Well, bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 <laughs> McNutley? Ted Price. Alexander Schaefer. Craig Stitt. Chuck Su Wong, a uh, Suan, a uh, Suan, uh, Oliver Wade, I don't know. Matthew Whitting, Whiting, Whitting, Whiting. Kirsten Van Schreven. Peter Hastings, is he brother to the other Hastings? Michael John. Mark Cerny. Jackie Evanchick. Sony Computer Entertainment, Seth Luisi. Luisi? Lucy? Perry Rogers, Jeff Ng, Amy Blair, Molly Smith, Christian Davis, 989 Studio something. Music by Stuart Copeland. Thank you, Copeland. Jeff Sites for engineering and produce. Co produced. Oh, co produced and engineering. Cool. Spiral Dragon Designs by Charles Zimbalis. Dragon Voices by Clancy Brown. Carlos Alazarque. Michael Koff. Go. 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 Jamie Alcroft. Ah, the wonderful worlds that we missed Michael Con or uh, wonderful worlds we've been through before. Spiral Voice by Carlos Alazarque. Dialogue written by Peter Kleiner. Sounds by Universal Sounds and Mike Gollum. Ron Horwitz. Kevin Spears. Additional thanks to Paul Rioy. How do you say that? French word. Da Dana Long. Susan McCready. McCready. Kelly Garner. Derek Power. Ryan Beveridge. No sheep or harm during the creation of this game. What about the one we killed as a boss? A few knocks, but no sheep. Of course, the knocks were gems. We can't return home, we have people to kill. We have things to kill, people to kill, everything to kill. Kill, kill, that's what we do. First. I missed one good damn gem. Honestly, I missed, I missed, I missed one! It's my nightmare! It was foretold in the papers! Okay. Ow, wall! Luckily, I have done nothing to worry about in the gym department up until... The one. Laugh all you want. I am highly amused. <laughs> and annoyed. Oh, so annoyed but amused. And it didn't heal me. I <laughs> 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 uh, get here, you Stupid green bastard. <laughs> you child of green challenge, mother. <laughs> I missed one gem from turning a corner because I didn't do the math. 
I should have done the math, but I didn't. Because I suck at calculus. Basic geometries. No. That was the speed. And now we gotta do the platforming. Platforming. Crap, my my computer just went to sleep mode, so Of course, it always does that when that thing pops up. That's annoying. One second, everybody at home. I just had to murder a little kid that just walked into my office. <laughs> what office? It's my bedroom. <laughs> and I don't want blood on my sheets. I ain't a priest. Nope. You're dead, Ness. And he laughs. You're toast, Nork. <laughs> yes, you are, Nork. Sorry, I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. And I, <laughs> I probably should have done the bonus level before this. His toast. I'll skip ahead to when this is over. Okay. All that hilarity is done. Let's we'll save this last dude. Hello, Magnus. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. I think I already have. Open! Sesame! What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? I I'm angry! I'm angry. What am I missing? What am I missing? <laughs> uh, is there one gym again that I'm missing? 100, 200, 100, 200, 100, 4, 4, 3, 4, 1. 200, 400, 400, 400, 300, 300, 300 uh, 3, 4, 3, 5, 1. Uh, 300, 500, 500, 500, 400, 300, uh, 3, 4, 3, 3, 1. 300, 400, 500, 500, 500, 300, 2, 2, 4, 3, 1, 300, what am I missing? 3, 5, 3, 3, 2, 300, 500, 400, 500, 500, 300, 200, 400, 400, 500, 2, 2, 2, 2, what, 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 the one dude said check the waterfall. Artisans. Take me to the artisans' world. Show me what it is that's behind that wall that in the first episode I called artistic yeah. art. Art. A secret world! A secret world! I never knew! I'm gonna kill some sheep and come back. I need my body. Well, give me my bell spikes, you stupid sheep. Even though I shouldn't really need him for a flight map, but still. <sighs> it's a flight map. It's a flight map! Oh well! Bring it on! I'll get that 100% if I... No! 30 seconds. Holy crap. I think I went the wrong way. Fools! I can't go the wrong way. I'm God! I killed an orc! The n Gods always kill themselves, don't you know? Okay. First things first is we kill this dude, we go through the pipe, we go around, then we begin somewhere else, probably killing those uh, flying dudes. Boom! Where is this in the artisan's world? Why is this here in the artisan's world? 
I think I went the wrong way. I'm going all the way back to the start. <gasps> For the treasure chests. Underneath the grove. But then I, that means I'm going to have to go all the way around. It's in a cave. It's in a cave. I don't like caves. Okay, the cave's gone. Cave Johnson. I don't think I have enough time. This is one very strict. This is a very strict though. And I have to make it all the way back through the cave, go through the arches, kill the flying dudes, and that should hope the arches should hopefully lead me back to the The arches should hopefully lead me back to the flying dudes. I haven't gone over ten uh, under ten seconds yet. And there goes American. Where are the rest of the arches? The arches of the archers. I don't think I'm gonna make it back in time. I missed. Almost. Yeah, but I think my way is pretty good. Kill the trains, get the boxes, go through the arches, kill the flying dudes. As long as I don't miss anything. I wish it was just kill the trains and not the things on the trains, because the things on the trains are kind of hard to hit. <laughs> Let's go, cinematic view. Boxes, boxers, boxers, boxers. Don't you talk about my boxes? I like my boxes. I like boxes. Fly about. Get to the arches, the archos, the arch magnitudes. Is it just me or do I lose time on the arches? I'm doing better time wise. I just, as long as I hit a plane on my way to the final arch, I should be good. Damn it. <laughs> I'm screwed. I failed again, Jimmy! Can I salvage this? I might just salvage this and that would be hilarious! Oh, so hilarious! The final dude! Yeah! You can't escape from me! Ya hidey hole! Yeah, Heidi, hey! No, I do not want to try again. 300 gems and 12,000! Now we head back to the artisan world, uh, not the artisan world, Nasty Nox world, and we raid his treasury for, uh, like, I want to say it's supposed to be 120%? I don't know. For the first time, I will 100% this game! Hello, Marco Polo. To Nasty's world. Woohoo! Now let's go. Open for me! Yes! Nasty's loot! Yes! Give it to me! All of it will be mine. Is it like gonna be 2,000? 2, 2,000 loots? What is this madness of a music? Oh, you can fly? Is this just like a bonus world? You can just fly around? Oh, oh! Oh, it takes flying stuff into account. 
That's cool. That's kind of like character development if it weren't for the fact there's sequels where he can't fly. And the music's gone. And the music back. And the music's gone. And the music's back. And the music's gone. And the music's back. This is just a really cool level. I like it. I like it. I like it! I like it! It's like they actually threw in something for flying. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. You super fast, little prick. Get back here. I got horns with your name on them. They're mine. But I want them right for you, little boy. Little dude. You can be fast, but I'm faster. If you were slow, I'd be slower. Dang! I need to take the sharp corners. This is a race. He's faster than Nasty Nork. Granted, Nasty Nork took breaks. Yeah! Your secret is now mine. I just like it. I like it. Just the little thing of being able to fly. Uh, oh! It's like, it's like, oh my god! It's like being able to control the powers of Satan! Except cooler! This game is cooler than Satan, guys! Proven by Jesus. Don't hit the wall, Billy! Yeah, screw it, I'm opening up the door. I said open. This isn't for the, this isn't, it's not the right key, man. Key man, oh, stronger than the light man, oh. Ah, give me a wind tunnel, gosh dang it. You're a master of karate and friendship for everyone, day man, day man. I don't even watch Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Shut up. Oh, he, he, they give the key back if you die? That's stupid. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to glide here. And you put death penalty on the gliding stuff. This is on you. That's on you. Unless there's like a magical thing that sends you upwards and upwards. Is there an upwards, upwards place? Can I go upwards and upwards? And up. And nope. And up again. For another key. They better not charge off the cliff after all that gliding. Yep, he just runs in circles. What? You changed directions, boy? That's why I have to use flame on you. Because you're a jerk. Kill the fun zone, Spyro. You're killing the fun zone with your vibe. Your horrid, horrid vibe of purple. 
Yeah, I think these keys actually lock off the altitude. That's kind of stupid. Just let me glide everywhere and put a bunch of gems in here so I can't get 100% without actually going after the speedy dudes. And because I, have, I lost sparks because I fell into the water a lot because of you guys. Let's see. Testing theory. Yep. It's locked off. Like, it's not 100%, it's just easier to gain altitude this way, if you've already unlocked it. Where's the airplane? One second, I guess I'll collect these doodads, and then the ghost ship I'll go after. I'll wait for him to go by again. I'm coming for ya. I'm coming after you. Do not jihad the eggs. And I got the key! To your soul! And the sound keeps breaking out. I don't like how the keys restrict your level of being able to fly. I guess it's okay, but at the same time, it's kinda mad. It's kinda mad, you know? So these flight uh, things are a lot more interesting because you have to go after these dudes and gain a lot of speed to catch up to them. Considering they're pipes. And I died. Because they were pipes. The Mafia is coming for you, Spyro. Do I have to do it all over again? Oh, do you have to, like, stop from that platform to, like, yeah. It's weird. Don't destroy the fun factor. I think they destroyed the fun factor. I'll be severely disappointed. They destroyed the fun factor. These guys respawn all the time, even you open the doors. Die. Give me that. And that is why I don't like them restricting the flight to how many doors you've unlocked. It just, it restricts the fun. Because the one thing that you should try to avoid as much as possible if you don't have a good reason is taking control out of the player's hands. Fear is a good reason to take control out of player's hands. Because the players are meant to feel like everything is out of their control. You want to know what's not a thing? Like, boss battles, very rarely should you take out of the player's control, or at least not in stupid ways. And where's the other dude with the key? I forget. Because it's stupid. It's like, come on. Ah, come on. Not to mention, I think that the restricting your flights uh, b by key door actually restricted my ability to get to that easy. And it's just like... That only sends mixed signals. This is a fun little bonus place, but they're treating it like it's not. They're treating it like it's an actual level, and they're throwing in things that restrict the player for almost no reason. You're supposed to let the player have fun, go wild with this, uh, while throwing some kind of challenge. Like, this is a cool bonus challenge. This is a cool bonus challenge that is really good. The problem is that they throw in this restricting the flight and the water that kills you and because you're like oh I'll go explore the land and then collect the keys and go everywhere is the players mentality right now players like me who are just like yeah I'll collect all the keys after I do things and you're like but you can't because they're literally restricting your access he's like we're not playing we're not playing solid uh, we're not playing Splinter Cell we're not playing Metal Gear Solid we are playing Spiral and Ice Cold Dragon Dude. There are objectives, there are things that need to be done. It just feels... 
a slightly mean spirited. Like, this is a cool challenge, but it is hindered by the fact that the you are kind of forced to do it to progress. The like every single dude that like this that wasn't a part of a boss battle was uh, basically optional. But now they're making them optional to complete the bonus level, and the only way to gosh dang leave. And the, also they don't put any health regenerations for Spock, so it kind of it's losing its luster. Because they're putting a little too much. They're doing too much. That's what they're doing. They're doing a little too much. And it just, it's harming the overall super duper fun times. The super duper fun times should not be harmed, yet you're harming it. You're harming it with your mandatory bull. Do not harm the super duper fun times with mandatory bull. That just harms the fun bull. I mean, this doesn't even look like Nasty Narcs. Like, Nasty Nork would own this place. Is that what you're going for? Nasty Nork is evil. Nasty Nork is to blame for this place. Not these wonderful game designers. Maybe. Maybe. But still. It's a very minor thing considering that this is just a super duper fun time area. That's meant to give the player some more freedom while also giving them more challenge. Yes. That is nice. That is cool. But how they went about it was a little mad. Just ever so slightly mad. Like that last key. The last key was 10 gems. It's blocking my flight again. What am I missing? Hmm? I don't think you activated a new dude. I don't think there's a new dude running around. Going, yeah, heh heh heh. Papyrus ain't here. Because, like, it's supposed to make flight easier. Like, see, we can fly right in. Let me, watch me swoosh right in! Like, is this something up? So, yeah, I don't get it. What am I missing? What am I missing? They're restricting access, and I don't know what to do. See, this is the problem. They restricted access by key level, but I opened up all the keys. So, the only place left is... Or maybe they don't restrict, like, it, that's the problem. They make it feel like it's restricted by everything, and goodbye, Nasty Nork statue, presumably. Oh, uh, no. It's a painting. I'm guessing that we can burn it. But yeah, I thought that I couldn't get up there because of the previous kind of... Down phone? Yeah. The previous kind of established thing of things being restricted by key level. And you can't destroy it. Don, the ultimate catharsis. And all 14,000 gems have been, let's go home. And I'm guessing one more time. Pyro the dragon. You've defeated Ganasty Ganorth, <laughs> collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the Dragon World, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my Dragon Days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minion. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. <laughs> you know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh oh. Here we go Here again. We go again. I just said that. That is the 100%. No, that's the 120% ending. 
with slightly... Oh, they show different places now. That's kind of cool. And that is it. Spire the Dragon, 120% done after much anger, frustration when it came to super jumps and nice wonderfulness of normal levels. Because, like, I think the problem came from with most of their super jumps is... Uh... Like, the final one, the final super jump from the Dreamweaver's world doesn't work on the basis that you don't have one of the little egg dudes to chase after, unlike in the Beastmaster's world. In the Beastmaster's world, I used to think it's the Beastmaster's world, in the Beastmaster's world, you had the little dudes that would run and you were able to follow them and you're like, aha, that's how you do it, but they didn't have it here. And that is the problem, because it requires a leap of logic, ever so slightly, because I'm not going to think every single, like, I'm not going to think this ramp here, like, if anything, I would think that the ramp on the island that swirls around is something that to think about, not jump off the island with the ramp, not completely in the opposite direction of the ramp, to a different ramp, that seems cosmetic leading up to a castle to then use as a super jump over to a hidden place. That would have been cool if it they gave some indication. Like a sign. If there was a sign just pointing over to the island that you can kind of see, maybe. Because <laughs> even then that would be a leap of logic, but it would be a leap of logic that had something. And that's all I'm asking for, something. Not to mention that sometimes the controls ain't the best, because <laughs> this game was originally meant to be played with the directional arrows, and not a control stick. Even with a control stick, it's kind of uh, unwildly unwieldy. But it's good. This game is good. Especially for the uh, the casual player. The casual player will love this game, while the super duper completionist like myself might find some nitpicks to be had. <laughs> I mean, yes, you must put some challenge there for the 100%, uh, well, 120% completionists. But there's a limit. There's a limit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a limit, especially considering that the 120% reward ain't that rewarding. It's just, I'm wearing shades, and Nasty Nork begins again, even though I literally killed him. I kill Nasty Nork, and here we go again. But luckily, they... I don't think they ever bring Nasty Nork back. Like, I'm gonna start looping the uh, ending credits just for a nice little talking point. But I don't think they ever reuse uh, Nasty Nork, at least Insomniac didn't. Insomniac made two more Spyro games. Because there's this one, Spyro the Dragon, then there's Spyro, Ripto's Rage, and then there's Spyro Year of the Dragon. Uh, that were all made by Insomniac on the PlayStation 2. The other game, uh, Spyro... Which is it? There's another Spyro game that does use Nasty Nork that was made by different people, because uh, a Spyro The Year of the Dragon, I think, was made at the end of the PlayStation 1's life cycle, or near it. At least by that point, Insomniac Games probably got a PlayStation 2 or so... Uh... uh, da -da -da, uh development kit. They're like, we want to make a game for the PlayStation 2, but they wanted to make a new thing. They didn't want to make another Spyro, considering they made each Spyro game, I think, in a span of a year. So then they went on to create Ratchet & Clank, and yeah, they went on to make Ratchet & Clank while Naughty Dog, who made Crash, went on to make Jack & Daxter. Both companies of which had to relinquish their rights on Spyro the Dragon and Crash Bandicoot, respectively, because they worked under Universal, uh, Universal Inc. Uh, development or whatever. Universal Pictures owned, or, uh, yeah, Universal Picture owns Crash, I think, while Spyro is owned by Activision. So, Lay Sai, 
and then Activision and went on to give I mean uh, yeah no yeah Activision well first we had Universal that was throwing Spyro's IP around like hey make another Spyro game and what do they do like uh, they bring back a villain for a uh, year of the dragonfly that they really shouldn't have and then I think Nasty Nork is the secondary antagonist of the uh, second hero's tale I think Either that or both Nasty Nork and the other dude are the villains of the Year of the Dragonfly. I don't know because I haven't played them. Well, I have played a bit of Hero's Tale. It's uh, meh from what I remember, but I'll play it anyway. And we'll see. We will have. We will have to see. So anyway, overall, Spiral the Dragon, a very good game. Very enjoyable for, I'd say it would be very enjoyable for casual players. Slightly annoying for nitpicky reasons for super completionists, mainly in the uh, challenging elements like the supercharge. The supercharge is ever so slightly annoying. When they try to like, weaponized supercharge and no fun. Weaponized supercharge is no, is no good, no good. It's okay. Slightly confusing in that aspect. What is with me in games being cryptic? Cryptic super jump, cryptic uh, enemy stuff in Wonderful 101, not really ish, kind of. The stinking 10 people, one wonderful, wonderful one. And the cryptic levels of Shante. What? I don't think there's that much cryptic stuff in uh, Ripto's Rage, hopefully. I think Ripto's Rage, they made things better. I forget which it is. In one of the uh, next Spyro games, Spyro can actually swim. Huzzah! Oh, hey. Uh, that might be Ripto's Rage. That might be Year of the Dragon. I don't know. I want to say it's Ripto's Rage. But I know it's Rip... Uh, but it, of, course it, I, of course I know it has to be Dragon's uh, Year of the Dragon. It's the last one, and I know one of these games is swimming. One of the one of the uh, one of the trailers had swimming. So come on, come on, man. you can think better. You can think better and be smart, can't you? No, I can't. Well, anyway, this has been Spyro the Dragon, number one, the original, made by Insomnia Games on the PlayStation One. We have beaten Nasty Nork. We have saved the treasure. We got 120% because that makes sense. And I shall see you all next time. Probably in Kingdom Hearts. Because Kingdom Hearts is probably still going on at this point. Of course it is. It's, of course it is. The entirety of Spiral the Dragon probably doesn't match the current episodes I have of uh, Kingdom Hearts that I haven't uploaded or uh, rendered. Because it's a stinking RPG. And the game I'm going to be playing after this sometime, Tales of Symphonia, is another RPG. Yay!